What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. In this one I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make a main menu for your game in Scratch. So this is going to be a really easy tutorial. Let's just get right into it. Um, so yeah, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to create a new backdrop. And we're just going to call it menu. Alright? It's, you know, you just want it to be simple name that you can recognize and we'll say when flag is clicked and we are going to switch our backdrop to menu okay and what you what you probably want to do now is let's let's you know design our main menu so i'm just going to do something really simple and really easy um i'm i don't know <laughs> let's just you know design your menu how you want my awesome game Okay, so once you have your awesome menu created, um, let's add some buttons to our to our menu. So what we can do is we are going to create a new sprite and we are going to paint one. And I'm going to go ahead and use this rectangle tool here and I'm going to create a just a simple rectangle that I can use as a button. And I'm going to call this sprite play button. And I'm going to create a new text inside of it, and I'm going to just make it say play. So, really simple. Um, now, let's add some code to our button. What we're going to want to do is we're going to say when flag is clicked, go to control and get the forever loop, and we're going to say forever, if, and what we're going to do is we, um, what we're going to say, we're going to go to operators, and we will do grab that equals operator here we're gonna say if backdrop number equals one and I just realized I messed up on that guys I'm sorry what we're gonna do is if then an else um, so we'll say if backdrop number equals one what we are gonna do is we are gonna show and then else we are gonna hide and so if you run this script what it's gonna do is Assuming we are on the first backdrop. The first backdrop here, the backdrop number is right up here. And so this menu is backdrop number one. And what we want it to do is if our backdrop number is one, we want it to show our button. Um, and what we can do, let's go ahead and create a new backdrop. And if you keep the, the, uh, if you keep the script running, uh, when you create that, it will hide. The button will be gone. And we'll just, I'm gonna call this backdrop game. Uh, just, you know, just gonna add some shapes and stuff, cause why not? Um, so, what we can do is in our play button, we can say when this sprite is clicked, and we are gonna switch our backdrop to game. And so, what you can do is now you will see that when you click on this, there you have it. You officially exit your main menu and you go to your game. And you can actually do the exact same. Let's say you want maybe an about, you know? And you can make it say, you know, about about my awesome game. And then you could literally duplicate the play button and you could say about button. And then you could do it here and you could, you know, you have it switched to about, you know? So, all these simple and awesome things that you can do for your own main menu. Um, you can add multiple main menus if you want. Not necessarily main menus, but on this about menu, you could say, you could add a new button and call it, you know, home button. And then make the text say home. And then the one thing you would do is because our about menu is the second backdrop, say backdrop number equals two and we'll have it go back to the menu and so watch this we can say about and then home about home just like that guys so it's really simple and easy to use uh you guys can add this into pretty much any game you want to have your own main menu in um i really do hope this tutorial was able to help you guys um if you have any questions or anything you you know want tutorials on just let me know in the comments and I will see you guys later. Bye.